Welcome back to Transmetic. I'm Asmita. Today I'll be discussing about horizontal alignment in MX road. Horizontal alignment theoretical in MX road is divided into two parts and today in this first part I'll be discussing about the important features in the horizontal alignment design using MX road and also the key points while inserting the intersection points in the horizontal alignment will be discussed in this video. So let's get started. This is about horizontal alignment. Horizontal alignment consists of tangents, that is, stretch section of the road. It consists of circular curves and spiral transitions. For the design of the horizontal alignment in MX road, there are two methods. First is alignment method, and the second is quick alignment method, which is also called as intersection point IP or PI method. Discussing about the important features of these two methods. Firstly, alignment method can be used to design reverse and compound curves, whereas quick alignment method cannot be used for the same. Since alignment method can be used for the design of the reverse and compound curves, it is mostly suitable for hilly roads or a complex alignment. And quick alignment method, since it is quick, easy and interactive, it is used for suitable for simple alignments and preliminary design work. In the previous video, we imported a line model and then over it, we made triangulation. That means we did triangulation. So we have our line model and the triangulation model, which can be seen, shown by the series of these triangles present here. Now, the next step will be horizontal alignment, as I already mentioned. So for horizontal alignment, today I'll be discussing horizontal alignment using quick alignment method because as you can see, uh, it is just a straight section with only one curve. So in that case, it's better to go by quick alignment method. So for that purpose, I'll go to design, then I'll go to quick alignment and then I'll go to horizontal design. So once I go to horizontal design, this pop-up window comes and here I have to mention a model name. I'll be creating a new model for the horizontal alignment. So I'll name it as design1 and it will ask me for alignment string name. So we'll be drawing for the road center line. Before that, since this is a new model that we created, the model does not exist. So we have to create a new model. So I'm clicking yes. Now we are doing this horizontal alignment for the road center line. That's why we'll select the road center line. And this MC is nothing but the uh, master string for the road center line. So here it will be given an alignment string name that is MC00. Uh, zero is the road identity, uh, we can say. So if we are giving the first alignment, we can name it as one, but like MC10. So the one represents the first road center line design alignment so similarly in that way we can name but now i'm just keeping it as it is so i'm keeping it as mc00 only so so once i press next i'll get this pop-up window for adding the ips so there are various parameters or there are various tools here that will facilitate us to add ip in this uh, road alignment and to finalize our horizontal design that i'll be discussing now so the first tool here is the parameters tool so it will show the parameter of the transitions and also radius and also the automatic design annotation since we are doing horizontal alignment we have kept it as temporary horizontal alignment by choosing it from the menu I'm not changing the default radius. The next tool here is the curve details. So this option I'll be dealing later once I add the IP point. And the next is deleting the alignment, reversing the alignment. This is corridor details. This is annotations, uh, snapping tool. Then we have XY keyboard entry. This is a tool for adding the IP. This is a tool for constructing an IP. Uh, this is the tool for inserting the IP between two already uh, present IPs. This is a tool for moving the IP. By this tool, we can slide the IPs on bearing. This is uh, for editing the curve details. So we can uh, change the curve details by this option. Next is uh, editing the straight lines. I mean, editing the tangents. 
This is the tool for removing the IP. This is for drawing the clearance line or clearance circle. And this is undo button. This is closing everything. Once we set the horizontal alignment, we'll go to OK button or this. And that's it. Now I'll start the horizontal alignment using quick alignment method. And uh, I'll be in the add IP mode. And also I'll be using the line model here as I do not need the triangulation model for that purpose. So I'll erase uh, the plan drawing and this is display this MX model. So I am back to my basic line model. And there are a few points that are to be considered while adding IP. We go through the points to be considered while adding IP. Firstly, avoid adding unnecessarily many IP. Second point is when the IPs are added, make sure that the alignment follows the existing center line. So that means either there should be no clearance or there should be only maximum allowable clearance and in case of the curved sections avoid overlapping of the tangents while adding the ip points and also to coincide with the existing center line or existing string turn on the snap now i'll be adding ip for that i'll be turning on the snap and i insert my first point at the starting now I'll make sure that the distance or the IPs are not so close. So I'm inserting it here. Similarly, I'll be inserting my next IP somewhere here. And here. Now this is the curve section and I'm inserting my IP right there. Since as you saw that the alignment was so diverted, so I'm again doing undo and I'm trying to go through or match the existing center line so I added my IP there uh, now I'm going to add it somewhere there similarly I'm adding my next IP point here now if you see since my IP were very near by so the tangents overlapped because of that I'll go back through the process and I'll undo or I'll delete those IP. For that, I can do remove IP also, but I'm doing undo now. So I added my IP there so that the tangents don't overlap. Uh, the alignment is not matching right now, but we have some options or tools to play with so that we can make the alignment uh, coincide with the existing center line. So I completed adding IPs. Now, I have to edit the IPs in such a way that the alignment which is shown by this yellow line match the center line. So for that the first tool add IP I already used. Second tool is constructing the IP. Now for constructing the IP what we can do is whatever IP is present there we this that IP that particular IP we can move it to some certain distance like I have to mention some distance so if I put it as 50 then this IP point uh, which has the same bearing so if I keep it at 100 suppose that IP will move by 100 meters downside but I do not need it there so I'll just undo this process Uh, now, the next option is inserting IP between two already present IP. So that is my first IP and this is my second IP. So anywhere in between that, I can insert an IP so that the uh, alignment matches the existing center line. Similarly, I have an option to move the IP. So here, I'm choosing an IP and I can move it anywhere down so that uh, the center line will be matched i mean the clearance will be less so i'm moving it here next tool is slide and bearing that i'll be discussing later in the next part of this tutorial editing curve will also be discussed later uh, for editing the straight we can change the design speed on the straight section so for now i'm changing it to 65 now now clearance 
the clearance between the existing center line and the proposed uh, alignment shouldn't go beyond a certain maximum allowable clearance value so if i choose a clearance circle and see the distance between these two points then if we can see it is 1.5 which is very higher so in that case we have to redesign the alignment or we have to use other tools to construct uh, ip so i inserted an ip here now i'm moving this ip so that it matches the existing center line similarly if i check the ip i mean if i check the clearance at some another point let's see i'm checking it here so if i draw clearance circle here then the distance is only 0.02 meter so that is 2 cm which is allowable usually 4 to 10 cm is allowable so that's it for now